from, and you can even see it. Yeah, you can see it's very hazy around yeah. here. All that smoke was from prescribed burning in the Flint Hills. That's in eastern Kansas. Now, it doesn't look like we really have that issue around here today. You might notice a little haze at times. Sure. Really just clouds, though, in place. The air quality much improved compared yeah. to Saturday. We did have a few showers move through. That also helps with our air quality. Some breaks in the clouds around the Omaha metro. Last of the showers kind of fizzling out now over southwest Iowa. But another round of rain and thunderstorms by this evening. That, thanks to a cold front that just starting to make its way toward us. You can't really pick it out too well here on satellite and radar, but it continues to strengthen as it works its way uh, across Nebraska and eventually through Iowa by tonight. And we do think some stronger to maybe even marginally severe thunderstorms will be possible. We do have the setup anyway with a strong cold front that will be moving through. That'll cause a lot of lift, but other ingredients for severe weather, not exactly impressive today. So one or two storms that could reach marginal severe limits, some gusty winds, some hail that's just large enough to classify a thunderstorm as severe. We're not really worried about the tornado threat around here, but some of these um, storms could be decently intense, especially into southwest Iowa and then kind of working down in the parts of Kansas and Missouri. But that's this evening. Daytime, just a lot of clouds around here. We still have this very strong south wind. Ahead of any cold front, you draw up this warm and somewhat humid air. So still a very warm day, even though we will be lacking sunshine. 56 right now out at Epley. Rain pretty much over with, though, at this point. That south wind, 15 miles per hour. That's why we have a lot of 50s across the region. 49 Hastings. It is 56 in Kansas City, 53. In Kirksville. Here's storm predictors showing what was left of those showers anyway, moving out of the KETV viewing area. Try to get some breaks in the clouds here later on this afternoon. That would also help to warm us up a degree or two. Notice by five o'clock though, here's the front moving in, and just ahead of it, we do see a few showers and storms developing, but they obviously strengthen and spread out a bit across eastern Nebraska. Western Iowa. So for the Omaha Metro, right around 9 o'clock is when we would watch out for some heavier rain, lightning, and then the possibility of some gusty winds and some hail with these storms. Could be even a little bit stronger just to the south and southeast of the Omaha Metro. So this is close to midnight, but we quickly clear out after that, clear the skies up, dry, slightly cooler air works in. But for Monday and Tuesday, that will just be fantastic news. Mostly sunny skies tomorrow, a couple of high clouds here and there, not too much going on. And we'll have a moderate northwest breeze, so we're not really expecting any fog after tonight's rain. Tuesday, really, more of the same. Here's the Storm Prediction Center outlook for today. It does leave the Omaha metro in a marginal risk for severe weather. Better chance, though, of a severe thunderstorm to the south and certainly down in two parts of Kansas. So after the fantastic weather, Monday and Tuesday, sunny skies, upper 60s and upper level low, parks off to our south. Now we'll keep a lot of clouds and some cooler air around here along with a chance of showers both Wednesday and Thursday. But we're up to 70 on Friday, 67 your high on Saturday. Sounds pretty good. Thanks, Kyle. Yeah. Well, this